Well, here we are with the crankshaft for ASBO 52, lightened, rebalanced, fitted with a steel conrod, roller big end, and trued. And uh, I'm happy to say that I've completely matched any minuscule run out that this thing had before I split it. I've got my gauges set up here, reading in thousandths of an inch. We've got a naught to ten on that one. And uh, this one goes up in five thousandths of an inch steps from number to number. Uh, with the individual thous obviously just visible. And here we go. Let's give it a spin, shall we? So we got one thousandth of an inch rise and fall on that one. And we've got one thousandth of an inch rise and fall on that one. And the good news is, of course, they're rising and falling together. So we've got one thou there and one thou there, rising and falling at the same time. So they cancel each other out to effectively give us no run out at the main bearings. So that'll do very nicely, thank you. And uh, all I've got left to do is fit the uh, crank pin nut locking screws, because the crank pin nuts themselves are done up very tightly and um, this crank will be ready to go back into the engine um, into a new set of European made main bearings of course and then we can get the bottom end built up and uh, that will be a major step forward in the uh, creation and construction of ASBO 52.